Hello, I'm Mr Thomas. I'm Head of Boarding at Cardiff Sixth Form College. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to show you around our boarding houses and introduce you to some of our wonderful staff and students. Please enjoy. Hi, my name is Kat. I'm a house pair here at Cardiff Sixth Form College and I'm going to take you on the tour of the boarding houses. The first house is Shand House. This is the closest house to the school with about a three or four minute walk and is also home to both males and females. In Shand House we have three different types of rooms. The first room is a cluster room. The cluster room has your bed, your desk and your wardrobe, as well as your own ensuite bathroom. In this room there's plenty of space to study and of course to make Shand your home. With cluster rooms you share a kitchen with about five other students, but the rooms are good size, with plenty of space to cook, study and of course hang out with your friends. Secondly, we have twin rooms. The twin rooms can hold two students as it has two bedrooms, a bathroom and a kitchen. In the bedrooms again we have a bed, a wardrobe and a desk and the bathroom is shared between both students. In the kitchen we have your kitchen surface and your oven as well as a space to study and hang out with your flatmate or with your friends. And lastly, we have our studio rooms. The studio room has your bed, your desk and your wardrobe, as well as your kitchen area, and that is all in one room. And in that room, you also have your own ensuite bathroom. Now that we've covered all the rooms in Shand, we'll move on to what the boarding house has to offer otherwise. When you come into Shand House, you come straight into reception, where there's a member of staff available at all times. So, when you come back from school, you can come and say hey. In the reception, you can also check your post box to see if you have any letters from home. And you also have access to the music rooms. So if you're a guitarist, a pianist, a cellist, there's a place for you to practice. Downstairs in Shant House, we have our common room. The common room is available to everybody. and give students an access for a place to study but more importantly it's a place to have a bit of fun to relax, to spend time with your friends and to not think about studying As Shand House is near the centre of Cardiff we do have a few security measures in place the first is a coded door the students get the code for the door and that will grant them access to the building we also use a system called reach boarding. Now reach boarding allows us as staff to know if students are in town, are at school or in Shand House themselves. And as I mentioned, Shand House is home to both males and females. As this is the case, the floors are gendered and only girls can get to the girls' floors and boys to the boys' floors using their school ID card. And lastly, we have our laundry facilities. Once every two weeks, we wash the students' bedding, but when it comes to clothes and personal items, the students will wash these themselves, and it's as easy as downloading the Circuit Laundry app, or get your laundry card and using this with the machines. Now let's move to our second boarding house, Liberty Gardens. Liberty Gardens is slightly further away than Shant House from the school, and it's about a five or 10 minute walk. It is also home to both male and female students. The difference here is, is that female students are in one building and the male students are in a separate building. In Liberty Gardens there are two types of bedrooms. The first is a cluster room and the second a studio. In the cluster room you have your bed, your desk and your storage space. As well as your own ensuite bathroom. Just as in the Shand House, the cluster room shares a kitchen with about five other students and that gives you plenty of space to cook, study and to hang out. Secondly, we have our studio rooms. This has your bed, your desk, your storage and your kitchen area all in the same room. As well as that, you also have your ensuite bathroom. In Liberty Gardens, the common room is in a separate building 
and the students can use this again to study if they'd like, but they can also use it to have a bit of fun and relax with their friends. Liberty Gardens is also near the centre of Cardiff and as this is the case we also have security measures here. The first is the security gate where students can get access by using their key fob. Their key fob also gives them access to the common room, their bedroom and the building that they live in. And just like Shant House we use reach boarding allowing staff to know if the student is in the building, is in school or is in town. And lastly, we have the laundry facilities. Just like in Shant House, we wash the students' bedding once every two weeks, but when it comes to their clothes and personal items, they do have to do this themselves, and it's as easy as getting a laundry card, topping it up, and using the machines that are provided. Now that I've shown you both of our boarding houses, I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions. The first is on the food here at Cardiff Sixth Form. All food is served in the school, in the canteen, and on weekdays, this is breakfast, lunch and dinner, and on weekends, it is brunch and dinner. If students want to cook for themselves, that's absolutely fine. They can use the kitchen they have access to. However, when it comes to pots and pans, we do not provide these. So if students want to cook, they will need to provide these themselves. Second question is on curfew. We do have curfews here at Cardiff Sixth Form and all of this will be covered with the students during their first few days of induction with the boarding staff. Thirdly, we have a question on bedding. We do provide bedding for the students. This includes a duvet, pillows, sheets, and a duvet cover. And as I've mentioned, we wash these once every two weeks. If students want to bring their own duvet covers and sheets, that is absolutely fine, and we will also wash these on the bedding days. And lastly, medical staff. At Cardiff Sixth Form we have a school nurse and matrons. They are available during the weekdays and every student is registered to an NHS doctor where they can go to the drop-in clinic and also make appointments. If a student is feeling unwell and is deemed not able to go to school, we also have medical rooms so that the students can stay in these throughout the day and to recover as quickly as possible. Now I've covered most of the questions we get frequently and I'm going to leave you to Mr Thomas to say goodbye. Hello, um, I hope you enjoyed the tour um, and if you have any additional questions please feel free to email at the um, address that is currently on the screen. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>